Okay, let's talk carry price and referees. Because tonight's game, I'll say last night's game, I'm filming this in the morning. Last night's game, carry price, first of all, for everybody out there on Twitter that talks about carry price sucks and carry price this and he doesn't earn his money. Well, in a game like this, carry price stole that point. Carry price was unbelievable. I don't know how you can watch that game and say Carey Price has lost his talent. He hasn't. Yes, he's getting older. Maybe it's not there every single damn game, but it was there at the end of last season, and it was there last night. You can't fault him for this loss. Even though that last goal squeaked through his arm, you still can't fault him for this. Now, the referees... Okay, I'm not saying those penalties that Montreal got were not penalties, because I'm not saying that, but seriously, the delay of game penalty... It's an icing, and then you don't let him change. You, you don't let him put back the same players that were there when the icing. That's the rule. On an icing call, same guys have to be there. Can't change lines. So he didn't, and he's being told he has to change players. And then because of that, he gets a delay of, uh, of game because he's challenging the fact that was it an icing or it wasn't an icing. So, you know, I don't, so the referees were just obviously biased because also at the end of the game, when they had a chance to at least even it up a little bit, uh, Drouin gets clipped in the mouth, it's obvious, and there's nothing. And then a little later, Deneau at the side of the net, Habs are in there, he gets his stick slashed away from him. Two penalties, you could even it up a little bit, show you're not biased, but they didn't because they obviously were biased for whatever reason last night. And I'm not saying all referees are like this. But obviously last night, the refs wanted Philadelphia to win. And they did everything they could in their power to make that happen. So that's wrong. Now, for the lighter side of that, Montreal fought their way through it. Their penalty kill came out and it was amazing from a goddamn awful penalty kill. Here they go, they killed off six penalties. That that penalty shot, granted, I guess it was deserved, but I don't know. There, I, I don't think any other year it would have been a penalty shot. And in a tied game, 2-2 at the end of the, the game, I don't know if you give that. But it's that delay of game penalty that's ridiculous. It, if it didn't show their bias, I mean, in the whole game, you couldn't find one penalty for these guys. Come on. That's ridiculous. So we lost the game. Price gave us a point there. Now, if Price didn't give us that point, I don't know who did. He kept them in the game. 45 shots. He stopped 42. Uh, and some of them were amazing shots. Any other goalie, look, if Kincaid was in there, it's 10 nothing, It's 10-1, whatever it was. It, it, that's how it would have been. That's how quality those shots were that he stopped. Average goalie doesn't stop almost all of those. Uh, there, was that, there was a tip in right in front of the net. Right at the net, and he stopped it. it was a, that was an amazing shot. The glove save on that breakaway. I mean, you can list them on and on. Price was fantastic la last night. Any Price haters out there, it's just because you hate Price. Or you don't like hockey players that make big contracts. Because there's no reason for that. He was great, and he deserves it. And Okay, so now let's get into my review, I guess, as best I can. Um, I call, I'm calling this the uh, Montreal Canadiens at the Philadelphia referees because in the end, the referees stole the game. I don't care how you look at it. It's not because I'm a Habs fan and I'm biased. The referees obviously were biased and stole the game, and it's ridiculous. I don't care if the Habs lose. They lose they, because they lost. That's fine. That's what hockey's about. That's what sport's about. But when a referee or two of them get in the way and they decide the game, it's wrong. Should never be like that. First period, not much happened. It was a lot of back and forth. Habs were really looking good in the first five minutes, and then slowly it just got to where Philadelphia took over the game completely. At 13.51, Myers gets a loose puck at the point. From the farthest distance, he lobs a shot in, and it gets through the four guys that are in front of Price. Price doesn't see that at all. So it's Myers' first goal. Tatar gets at 18.43, takes a dumb penalty for holding the stick. Tatar is a little out of control and undisciplined right now, and he needs to calm that down. He's like number four in the league for uh, penalties like this. So, you know, that was in the, in the uh, offensive zone. He shouldn't be taking a penalty like that. It's important because it leads into something in the next period. It was at the end of the period. It ran into the next period. Flyers took over the period slowly from the fifth minute on through... Um, Right through the whole period. Uh, Habs had trouble clearing the zone. Once again, Habs are having trouble clearing the zone. There was a too many men on the ice penalty. Their fault was horrible. And they had a lot of turnovers, I found. 
They weren't official ones, but there was a lot of the turning the puck. I found shots on goal. They gave up a lot of shots. 18 for Philadelphia, 12 for Montreal. Um, one power play for Philadelphia, which they didn't score on, but they sort of did because it ran into the next um, period. And they had 30-odd 30, 30 seconds uh, of, pa of power play left, okay? And then a few seconds after the power play, Habs, they haven't had their, you know, the guys haven't come back in and get set and everything. And they... Um, JVR, uh, that's uh, James Van Reen, like, uh, gets the puck in the slot. After a big screen in front of Price, uh, he scores. There's a big screen for him. He didn't, you know, he got a lot of screens there. Uh, so it was his fourth goal from Voracek and Giroux. It's 2-0 uh, for uh, Philadelphia. They're in control of this game, there's no doubt. And it doesn't change till near the end of this period. Tatar gets another holding penalty, and like I say it's his 10th minor this year. Lekin in a bad tripping penalty. He got away with a high stick, though. So, you know, again, undisciplined play. It was 5 on 3 for 12 seconds. Price was stellar. The Flyers were peppering him with quality chances, and Price just standing tall. And it was 30, point, 30 shots at that point. And at some one point, it was 24 shots to 1 for, obviously, Philadelphia. Uh, at 13.44, we get a break. Deneau carries the puck through the neutral zone, dishes off to Cousins on the left, and he shoots, and the rebound comes straight out to Sherrod, who's in the middle of the mid-slot. Not the high, not the low, right in the middle. And he beats uh, Hart with a shot. So Sherrod is third and from Cousins and Deneau. Habs' legs halfway, have finally arrived after that. So like at the 14-minute mark, uh, they're playing better. So they slowly start to play a little better. At 18.06, Lekkinen goes for slashing, and it's a big penalty kill here. they got to kill the penalty. Montreal still in the game somehow. Without Price tonight, this would be a blowout. Has must regroup and come out ready for the fight and hard work in the third. Because the third, if they're going to win, or they got they, they just they have a chance now. Price is giving them that chance. They got to fight hard, especially with the refs. The way they're they're not calling anything for Philadelphia. So in the third, the forecheck works hard and turns the puck over behind the Flyers' net. So Drew and I forget who else, and Drew gets it and passes it up to Weber, who's in the high in the circle right on the edge of the circle in the slot, and he gets a good shot. An awkward one, but he gets his weight behind it, and he gets a good shot, and he beats Hart. So it's Weber is third, three defensemen now, three defensemen now with three goals each, uh, and that's from Drouin. At 5.07, they take a too-many-man penalty, and it's a damn bad penalty, and it's another big penalty kill, and they kill it off, thank God. And then at 10.33, it's that delay of game penalty for taking too long to put a line out, when they're not even clear, was it an icing or not? It's it's ridiculous. So I wrote here, off oh, um, in a two-two tie, in the third period. This is a this is what they did. You got to be kidding. The ref wants to be the start again. Anyways, they kill it off. Thank God. I don't believe in God, but still, thank God. The PK has been good tonight. 0 for six. So they haven't let up one goal and six shots at it. I think at that point, yeah, it's six. I'm not giving all the shots and everything anymore. Just, I'm just, I'm, it's in the morning and I'm pissed off again. At part of the, the way the game, the, the Habs played, they played like garbage for half the period, a game, and then they woke up. Uh, but the refs were garbage, putrid garbage. I'm allowed to say it. I don't get fined for saying this. They were garbage and biased, without a doubt, towards Philadelphia. I don't know why. I'm not saying all refs are like this. This group of refs were. Okay, my rant over for the minute for the moment. So the refs obviously biased tonight. Shameful. Habs fought hard, made harder by the bad calls. Uh, the missed and they missed that high stick to Drew at, and that slashed it on old stick at the side of the Flyers net. So it's like you know, are you are you refs or not? Anyway, so the game goes into overtime because that's the third period. If I didn't say it. Um, and it doesn't take long. It's something like 53 seconds in. And you know, I saw that you see it happening. You can see the play happening. I knew this was going to happen. I thought Price had the shot. I, uh, hopefully he's still up to it. And it just dribbled through. Couturier fires in between a defending Mete and Suzuki. He gets it in between them. Price gets it, but it dribbles through from between his left side and his arm. And he was squeezing it. He was sure he had it. He oh, looked, oh, and it was too late. And it just went in just in the corner. Uh, the like at the post, so it couldn't squeak by, you know. 
So game over. Couturier is fifth from Konechny and Provorov. And what do you say about it? Uh, Price did everything he could to get the win. He was fantastic all night. Montreal skaters woke up at the end of the second. If they had played a 60-minute game, they would have won. They played 30 minutes and, you know, it barely 30 minutes, and they uh, almost won this game. And that's because of Price. Because at, if, even if Price, say if Price or another goalie was in there and the Habs played okay, a little bit better, they're, all those shots, no, it would have been out of reach. Three stars. My three stars tonight, because there were legitimately three good stars and an honorable mention. Third star, Shea Weber. Shea Weber played a really good game that was a really good shot. He was off balance on his off foot, and he still he got that shot away because he's strong. Number two, Sherratt. Sherratt, his second goal in two games, an important goal. Uh, got them on the board, and he's been much more comfortable in the offensive zone. It's his third goal of the year. Last year, I think he only had four all year, so he's uh, much better on the offensive side. And he was playing with Weber again last night a lot, I found, and um, for the first part, and then actually it didn't work, so they paired him back up with Petrie. And number one is Price, because, I mean, Price, if it wasn't for him, this is a, the game is gone. Long gone. Uh, honorable mention is to Jonathan Drouin, who worked hard all night. He got an assist on that uh, tying goal, and, uh, yeah, he gets a, an honorable mention. Shots on goal. 24 Montreal, 43. I thought it was 45. 43 for uh, them. 50% each for face-offs. No power plays for Montreal. 0 for 6 for Philly. 34 hits for Montreal, 27 for them. 13 block shots, 12 for them. Uh, six giveaways, eight for them. Four takeaways, nine for them. Montreal's now eight, five, and three, fifth in the Atlantic with 19 points. They're two points behind second place Toronto, only two points behind. Philadelphia's eight, five, and two, fifth place with 18 points in the Metro. Next game is in, is in Montreal. LA is in town Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to be doing my live stream starting at 6.30. So just before the game starts, and I'll run right through the first period. So hope to see you there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe, ring the notifications bell, and that will get you all of my... I didn't even say that. That's how pissed off I was. I didn't even say it at the beginning. That'll get you all my videos and your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's a bit of a rant, but... It was a really bad game by them and really show, poor showing by those refs. So, anyways, off to the next game. Hope you're all there. Hope you watch the next video. And go Habs, go! Bye, y'all.